Hey there, everybody, and a lot has happened since last time I did Decision Medieval. And by a lot, I mean I was mostly grinding for an extended period of time, but we went on to, well, New Game Plus on Hard Plus, which it only consistently gets more difficult every time you go on to another, another, uh, game, another New Game Plus, which is, which is nice, that's interesting. Uh... I did this to make level grinding and everything easier. We have everything right now. We have everything unlocked. And I'm going to be showing these off at various times. I fully upgraded the Tyrant Warplate armor. It's amazing. Armor reduces the damage of incoming attacks, but also reduces movement speed. Not true in this case. Oh boy. All right, yeah, but I also have the battle armor and sword, which are completely maxed out, and my god, this is my favorite weapon in the game. It is absolutely beautiful. It is amazing. Now, I was going to get the random stocks that you can get in this area, but that's not really necessary. I don't know why this is still available here. That's kind of weird. There's not even really any threat in the area. It's perfectly well defended. It's just strange. But I think I'm going to end up saving that for another time or just skip over it. And that's because, well, with Flash games going down in almost a month and a half now. Oh boy. There's not much time left to do things like that. And it's not going to form as a great guide in the future then either but we can jump in to survival on the lower end and we'll take this out and handle this really quickly and it's it's so easy to do with all the stuff we have and it maxed out and it's just so much fun yep i do have a bear trap i have leap i have stability which uh, essentially makes me an unstoppable force of nature. Look at this. This is insane. The amount of damage I am pulling off here. I am in love with this. <laughs> I forgot how good it felt in this game to be so insanely broken. This is what the Berserk Muso should have felt like. Okay, let me out of here. Huh. <sighs> Come on, you guys, stay back. I don't want to have to kill when it's unnecessary, man. Just regenerating my health. Come on, guys, stay, stay back there. Okay, health regenerated. Ah. Look at how fast we can rack up these kills. This is ridiculously easy to pull off. All right, come on now. Even more. They just keep coming in greater and greater numbers. And stronger and stronger numbers. And it is so good. All right, let's get out of there. Oh, I knocked the big guy down. So going over here will allow us to heal a little bit, and then I'll worry about getting back over there. My god, I sliced him in half. Oh, yeah. Right back to that slaughter fest. It's amazing to me that the main character of Decision Medieval just has this absolute absurd strength to charge through this and win, just slaughter everything. Come on, there we go. Ah, you too? Come 
Come on then, you guys don't stand a chance. I was originally just gonna leave after I finished the mission, but uh... It was an easy slaughter fest, I had to. And with that one mission there, if, it, if you want, you can get the shield and you get the tyrant armor, the, the sword and shield and the tyrant armor, r almost, almost right after you get the final master or get the master of war, and they are so worth it. They are so insanely worth it, especially if you're having a hard time. These things make the game relatively easy, and that's just a good thing for players who are having a difficult time to do. Now, the North Survival Area. That one's interesting. Okay, everyone. I'm just going right into the fray. Now, I think there's an achievement in this game or Decision 2. Was it, was it Decision 2? I think it actually was Decision 3. Where you can get a specific thing for enslaving a sit amount of orc trolls in a level. Well, not enslaving, capturing. Okay. Whew. Get out of there. My health needs to regenerate. There's even a stash in this level, which is kind of cruel. Okay. But down here, over the side, you'll actually have your last storehouse. Yes, it is genuinely the last storehouse in the game. There is pretty much nothing else down here, though, but if you wait around here long enough, the enemies will actually prioritize the area down here and slaughter the troops down here. Unlike Decision 3, these areas don't form as boss areas, and they more so form as areas where you can just grind infinitely for all the money and cash you need. Come on. I would have loved to have actually wiped out the threat here, like entirely, and just keep going for hours on end, like an hour of just fighting this, and the threat is gone. It might be temporary for like an in-game week, but that would have been cool. Oh my god! Okay, that was not, uh, that wasn't what I expected when I walked over there. No, don't touch me. Oh my god. Yeah, you're, and unlike the other one where you're sitting on a, whoa, mission timer and everything, this one you only really have to worry about surviving an actual amount of time instead of, you know, having a set amount of things to kill and lasting out five minutes. You only need to last two minutes in the area and then you can just leave. Come on. Look at this absolute massacre, though. No wonder they decided to call these the massacre areas. You can do things like this. The feeling of power is immense. My god, okay. For a moment, I was thinking that was my end. Quake Leap. I love this thing. I never expected to love it. I completely forgot it was good. Hey, bye. Okay. Yeah, I've already maxed out all the weapons with the exception of the bear traps off screen because like I said, the bear traps actually aren't worth it to max out. Yeah, they're, they're in the non-sequitur, not the most worthwhile weapon in this game, and it's kind of a shame because literally every other weapon that I can think of is absolutely amazing. But yeah, we got all of that. We accomplished all of the... We, I think we got all the achievements. I think... I think. Yes, we did. We have... No. Storekeeper. Find 15 storehouses. Oh... Ha, ah, the last storehouse for this uh, playthrough is down here. There we go. So now we actually have all the achievements, and there you go. That's, that's how you get them all. Just watch the playthrough, and it gets you there. Now, there is a way to, you know, 
save Flash games and keep them around. It's a pretty huge download, though, and it's not going to fit on most computers for the people that want to play these things. So I'm going to recommend instead of doing that, watch a playthrough or find a playthrough of these that you really like and it just fits your requirements. And honestly, that is the best thing I can recommend because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the mission because there is a light version of it, but the main version is what you're going to go for. And the main version is 480 gigabytes. That's insane. And at the end of the day, 480 gigabytes, most people don't have that kind of hard drive right now. I can't say most, just the majority of people. So, yeah. Ah. <sighs> so for now, this is the end of this series. Thank you all. And I hope you have a wonderful day. This has been my last revisit. Maybe last. Still might get those stashes. Uh, ah, this has been my last, technically last revisit to Decision Medieval. 100%. Everything is done. Thank you all for coming. Remember to support Fly Anvil by checking the links in the description below because even though Flash games are done, Fly Anvil is not. And it is abs it would be absolutely wonderful to have you guys, you know, be there and do that. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.